Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Do you want to learn an easy, not infusion way to get this effect? Well, let's get started. Drag a generator clip onto your timeline. Turn it some color other than black. We do this so that we can better see our text and the drop shadow effect that we'll be using in a few seconds. Go to titles and drag a text plus clip onto video track two of your timeline. Go to the inspector, select the font that is wide. This effect won't be very noticeable if you use a thin font like handwriting. Leave the color of the font white. Adjust the size to your needs. Go to the effects and drag a fast noise effect onto your text clip. Drag the HV ratio all the way to the left. Adjust the scale, detail level, and detail balance to your liking. I like the thinner lines running over my letters. It looks more metallic to me. Adjust the brightness and the contrast. Keep saturation at zero, no color change. In the auto animation tab, adjust the velocity X. I wanted a slow move to the left, so I moved the slider a small amount to the left. I made no other adjustments to the fast noise effect. Go back to the effects and drag the drop shadow effect onto your clip. We're going to use this effect to mimic a 3D look. In the inspector, increase the shadow strength. You want to see it clearly behind the text. Adjust the drop angle and drop distance to what works best for your look. Reduce the blur so that the shadow is more defined. Now go back to the effects tab and drag the glow effect onto your clip. We're going to add a bit of shimmer to this fast noise that moves across our letters. Go into the inspector and drag the shine threshold all the way to zero. Adjust the spread and the HV ratio like I've done here. Adjust the gain gamma and saturation to your liking. Leave the composite type to add. Now move your cursor to the beginning of the text clip. In the inspector, reduce the opacity of the glow all the way to zero and then keyframe it. Then scroll through the clip somewhere to about three quarters of the way and then increase the opacity of the glow effect to your liking. Then scroll to the end and reduce the opacity once again. Now the metallic looking text has been created. Click on the text clip in your timeline, press and hold the alt key for PC, the option key for Mac, and drag a copy of the text clip into video track 3. Now go into the inspector and delete all of the effects from the copied track. Click on video and then go to shading. In the properties next to appearance, click on the text outline icon. Then reduce the thickness of the outline to very thin. Then under the type of lettering, click from solid to gradient. To make adjustments to your gradient, you can add colors if you want, but I stuck with black and white so that one side of the outline is bright and the other side is dark. Now, if you want, you can adjust the mapping angles. I just left mine alone. Just play around with it. I also set my mapping level at character, but I could have chosen to use the gradient by line or by the word. Now we want to make zoom and positioning adjustments, but we don't want to have to do this to both clips and match the clips. So select both clips at once, right click and select render in place. Now this is very important. Select the GoPro Cineform codec. By doing this, only the text will render and not the black background. Okay, now we have two text clips rendered. Select both of these clips again, right click and select new compound clip. Give it a name and click create. Now you can make pitch, yaw, zoom and motion adjustments to your text. Go into the inspector tab, adjust the transform settings to your liking. I keyframe the zoom and pitch to get this look. I change the color of my color generator to red, or you may move the clip over something else in your film like this. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button below. Check out my channel for more content like this, and I will see you next time.